Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're making a basic A-frame shelter, so stick around. For today's period of instruction, we're going to need 50 foot of paracord, 5 loops, 4 tent stakes, a lighter, a knife, and an 8x8 tarp. I'm going to take one end of my paracord and I'm going to tie a bull in. Next I want to go ahead and I want to cut one piece, approximately fingertip to elbow in length. Then go ahead and burn the ends. Taking both ends of the paracord that you just cut, you want to make a loop and you want to tie it using a fisherman's knot. I'm going to take my paracord ridge line and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around this tree. Now I want to do it anywhere from waist to chest height. Taking my ridge line, I went ahead and tied a bullet on that end. Then I went around the tree. Here's my excess right here. Now on this end that's wrapped around, I want to make a loop. So to do that, just pick a spot. I'm going to grab the line. And I'm going to rotate it towards the tree. All you're doing is rotating your hand over. Then reach inside, pull it through, and it creates a loop. Now pass your excess through that loop. And then pull it towards that tree. And the more you pull towards that tree, the tighter your line will be. I take your index finger and thumb, pinch that loop, take your cordage, lay it over top. Reach inside, pull it through. You can also select option B. Just take your index finger and thumb and pinch the line with the loop. Rape your cordage over and pull it through.
This is the exact same thing, except for an offset loop. Option B gives you a loop that's in the center and in line. Our ridge line is now set up. What I want to do is I want to get rid of some of this excess cordage. So to do that, I'm actually going to make this into a toggle to secure my tarp. Take my end, put an overhand knot. And I'm going to do a figure eight around my thumb and finger. What I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and grab each corner, take one of my loops, and I want to pass it through that grommet, just like this. Reach inside that loop and pull it through. This creates a lark's head knot. I'm going to go ahead and remove that cordage from that loop. Then place it through my center grommet, just like this. Now pass my excess cordage back through that loop. This will act as a toggle securing that tarp. Once you have it to this point, reach underneath and cinch it down. Taking one of your five loops, what you want to do is tie a Prusik knot on the opposite end of your tarp. To do that, take your loop, pass it inside of itself three times. Then go ahead and dress that up. All you want to do now is take your center grommet on your opposite side and pass your loop from your Prusik knot through that grommet. Just like that. Now taking a tent stake or a broken branch, you want to create a toggle, place it inside that loop, and pull on your Prusik. The more you pull, the tighter that tarp's going to be. The clear advantage to having an A-frame versus a lean-to is obvious. Two walls and a roof. Also more room to store your gear. Just keep in mind there's always more than one way to do this. Don't get caught up on my way, his way, or her way. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time.